yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again, yeah. State your name, big, big dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. Swimming, you shaking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh uh, coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Welcome back guys to another video on meal prepping. Now with this one, I wanted to give some insight into the tail end of my aggressive dieting phase where I'm now down to as little as 1,700 calories, which I'm not advising people to do. This is just a video of what I'm doing at the moment to try and trim down the last little bits of fat. And also I want to include into this video, if you are dieting on a budget and trying to keep your food spend down, then you can pick up some hints and tips from this video along the way, as well as why I am currently fasting and how you can get involved with that. Now I start my day off with a coffee, doing some work and then jump on the PS4 before meal prep. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be going through what I eat in a day. So how you can get more food for less calories. But first we're actually going to need some food. So my foods are pretty bland and pretty boring to most people but I just find it easy for me to be repetitive with my foods and just get in more volume where I can. So most of the veggies you saw me buy from Asda just because it's cheap and cheerful. And then my meats I actually get from Muscle Food. I'll put a quick screen grab up here. And I'll also include the screen grabs of the receipt because I know a lot of people say you're chatting shit mate. And the chicken actually works out at like £1.10 per day which is really really cheap. The steak is what bumps the price up a little bit. So my average daily cost works out at about 13 75 I think I worked out as. And also, I just added some egg whites in, which I don't even need, I don't know why I've got them. I also haven't added in the Fry Light One Cal Spray or the Chicken Season because unless you're an absolute peasant, you don't need, it's going to cost you like 1p per day. My calories and macros, I'll ping up on a screenshot at the side. All you're going to need for the first meal is a Pyrex jug and eggs. The fir my first meal a day is really, really basic. I'm also going to need cutlery. So first meal is going to be just two whole eggs, got big yolks, and then also going to have three whites. Now you can buy egg whites as well, but I just find that they go a little bit thinning. You don't get as much volume as if you just buy normal eggs. With your egg yolks, up to you, you can either pop them back in the box, put them down the sink, flush them down the toilet, whatever you want to do with them. And I'm also just going to add some what I like to refer to as poor man's seasoning because everyone can afford salt and pepper. Should already be in your cupboard. And all I'm going to do is whack that up with a strong hand. Like most of these meals today that I'm whipping up as well are mega mega quick. None of them will take longer than say like five or ten minutes. Which is ideal because no one wants to be in the kitchen all day. And now I'm just going to go over and pop this onto the hob and whip it up. I'll also add a little bit of spinach to it. I usually use a bag of this in like three days to just add loads of volume to food so you get more bang for your buck. Yeah, pump up the action. Bitch, I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just snapping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell it, most of y'all is flawless. Broken whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you wanna, cause the game's enormous. What's an ass? Since she isn't gorgeous. Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest. Do not know when knocking on the door is. Came in, I came in, I came in. Did it like the forces coming in. And a little tiny bit of spinach the size. This is like zero hundred calories. So in terms of like breakfast, I'll have this at sort of. 12 to 1 o'clock because I'm fasting. So with, with fa intermittent fasting, all it means is that like I'm saving calories. I do the 12-8. So it allows me to save more calories for later on in the day because at the end of the day, most people aren't going bored deep into the Ben and Jerry's at 6 o'clock in the morning until 6, 7 o'clock at night. So if you can save some calories for later in the day, I always feel like it's better to do so and just works with my, with my diet. So that is going to be meal one. I will pop up the calories and macros on the side there. Now for... Meal two and three, I'm gonna press together and you'll need some 
with those handy scales. Don't buy the cheap shitty ones either because they'll light you and they'll break and you have to fart around taking those little circle batteries out. So for this one we have got our muscle food chicken like that literally cost £1.30 which for me is a bargain but I hate touching chicken so Double gloves on. They don't do these in men's size, do they? So we're going to be going for two lots of 170 grams of chicken, which is quick mass, 340 grams, 350 grams. What do you know about that? So I'm just going to take these little crappy bits off, which tastes like fish something and um, three four five I'll take a little bit more off it's more like those numbers and there's 340 probably don't put that on the side where your egg is and all I do is just chop it up into little chunks because I find that it, it cooks a lot better and then I'll add some season to it as well I just chicken's easy for me because it tastes nice it's cheap it's easy to season and with these, you probably already seen that my calories are mega, mega low from that screenshot that I showed you earlier. Like, this is the lowest I've been on calories for a long time um, because I'm going away in four weeks, so it's a really, really aggressive cut and aggressive deficit. I wouldn't always be in this low of a, a calorie, but when you want to get lean, you've got to do shit that other people don't do. And you'll see a lot of people online who are like, oh, I'm eating 3,000 calories a day and I'm literally shredded down to like a, a nut sack. But it's not the truth. Most of the time they're either doing excessive cardio or they're on a lot lower calories than I tell you. So I'm just here today to tell you the truth, tell you the food that I'm having, tell you that it's probably not the healthiest place to be, mega low body fat, but um, it's completely up to you, depending on where your goals are at the moment. Then I'm just going to apply some chicken season to my chicken. Makes absolutely zero sense, but I just can't stand having um, normal chicken. I need to have something on there, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of seasoning and then just get amongst it. And literally all I'm gonna have with the chicken is great success. I'm gonna cook up two lots of 300 grams of baby potatoes and because I'm really lazy I'll do these in the microwave exactly the same with the broccoli I make two I'd have two of these per day by the way two big um, breasts of broccoli per day and I just find a load of volume in there it's nice and easy to get in I can microwave it take it wherever I need to so without further ado I'm just going to bang this on the hob chop up some broccoli live, and that can just go straight in to the microwave literally for just like five minutes Again, just mega easy to have. I know everyone moans about broccoli, like it tastes like shit, but again, if you add some season stuff to it, it's not too bad. Probably like a really ex over excessive knife to cook broccoli, but obviously I live in a house full of murderers. And you get loads of bang for your buck with this, so the, the main point of this is to get as much volume of food as possible to try and not only like satisfy your gut, but to get a little bit of satiety in there as well. That can just go in the microwave now for five minutes. And then I'm going to pop this over on the pan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just want to win. Yeah, LA. So once our broccoli lie is done, I'll also just get and weigh out 600 grams of potatoes for 300 grams per meal. Baby potatoes again, dead easy to do. And whack them in the microwave. Cause I'm lazy. And they take like six, seven minutes. Again, I'll just bang a little bit of salt and pepper on for season. A little bit of chicken season. Again, this is like 50p from somewhere in the UK called Aldi, I think the little bit as well. So I'll just bang those in the microwave. And whilst that's cooking, I'll just start dishing up some of the broccoli and our next couple of meals. So this is for two meals. This is for dinner. So again, I'll just bang all that onto one plate. I'll split that evenly because this is going into feds. And I'll chop the other broccoli up and do it like that as well. 
So this other broccoli, I'll chop up whilst the potatoes are in and the chicken is cooking. This one obviously is mega easy to store, so if you want to get some Tupperware, be proper pro. For those of you who don't know what pro is, by the way, I'll put the, the definition up here somewhere. But um, it's just really easy to keep on the go, like, and take with you if you need to. But my diet is mega pro at the moment, it's not ever usually like this, but again, because I'm in this aggressive deficit, it's just way easier to keep on top of. And on a week-to-week -week basis, if I need to change stuff, I know where calories are, I know where calories are coming in, I know where they're going out. Again, I'll just season that bad boy. And that one's ready to go in the mic as well. Whilst our broccoli is just finishing off, I'm gonna grab... Oh, just in time. So we've got the last of our broccoli and potatoes we're gonna split. I also almost forgot, I always have with the egg meal as well, 100 grams of pineapple, because it adds a bit of fruit in the morning. Probably don't use your fingers, it's not, uh, it's not as hygienic as uh, probably a fork, the 100 grams, and I also have a bit of fruit with that, so some frozen fruit. I'll have another 100 grams. Hell, that's strawberry. Strawberry's been on the Susan Decker. So there's 200 grams of fruit that I'll also have with the breakfast meal, which bulks out a little bit so we can get rid of pineapple, eggs, and spinach can also go home. And now I'm just going to split again this broccoli across our Three meals. Make sure everyone gets a fair share. Looks about even, Stephen. Um, the, the potatoes, I'm just going to split across two meals. So that is going across our steak meal, which is going to be this one. And then one of the chicken meals. The other chicken meal is quite small because it's basically chicken and broccoli. Sometimes I'll even add a little bit of salad to it. Depends how much I want to push the boat up. Probably don't serve potatoes up with a spatula either. It's going to be easy to use hands. So yeah, split those evenly. You get about 300 grams per meal. After those two done, I'm just going to grab the, the chicken and again split the chicken nice and evenly into two. Make sure it's properly cooked. Don't want to, um, it's called salmonella, salmonella, food poisoning, whatever it is. I've had it once in my life and that's when I went to Burger King once. And um, I ended up, luckily, I was in like some cheap caravan park. So I was sitting on the toilet and then the sink was literally just in front of me so I could spew from both ends quite easily. Um, some important information, but yeah, make sure the chicken's done properly. I like mine, like almost char grilled. So that's ideal. Presentation skills are not on point here. So that's basically meal two and meal three, or to way work round you want to work it. So next, this is probably the quickest meal out of all of them and the easiest. These are 170 gram rump steaks from Muscle Food, so you don't even have to weigh it. It's exactly how it is. And all I'm going to do is add green beans. So this meal literally takes five minutes. I'm even going to put a timer up on the screen as a cook it because it's so quick. All I'll do is get like a cup of green beans. Three, two, one, go. Bang them in there. Bit of chicken seasoning. We'll go in the mic. Four minutes. And then all I'm going to do is crack open steak. Head over to the hall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Yeah, state your name. Big Ben dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. Swimming, you shaking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh -uh. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again. Pump up the action. I'm active. If he never heard of being dope, he just snapped. Literally, just waiting off for the five minute timer to go off on our green beans. The steak is done. I like my medium rare, so it's not not too cooked through the middle. A little bit pinky, but nice on the outside. And I just also added a little bit of onion. And just like that, there's a five minute marker. So this is the quickest meal probably out of all of them. The steak takes no time at all to cook. 
and it's quite a substantial meal this one. So I'll just pull the green beans out, stick five minutes and then I'll just serve them up at the side of the plate by the veggies. And probably most also our most substantial meal of the day. Like in terms of meal timing, if I start at 12 o'clock, I'll have like 12, maybe leave like two or three hours, have my chicken and broccoli meal, two or three hours, chicken and broccoli meal, and I'll have my steak a little bit later. Sometimes I don't like having it too late, because steak and red meat doesn't digest properly. So I try and have that about eight-ish. And then on to the very last meal of the day, which is probably my favorite, Greek yogurt, and frozen fruit. And I have this pretty much just right before bed. So I usually have about 250 grams of this, which again I'll weigh out. And for me, it's just like, it's really sweet. It really hits me with satiety before bed. So if you're one of those people who's like, a bit of a binge here, likes to get up, eat a bit of food like me, then this one's great for nailing the sweet tooth. So I'll add 250 grams of yogurt, a little bit under there, and now just add a handful of about 100 grams or so of frozen fruit, like so. And uh, again, that one's just a nighttime snack. Nice and easy to have. Hits your satiety. And this one I haven't really used supplements because at the moment I'm not having a lot of supplements apart from my like pre-workout creatine. I'm not using whey. So again, it keeps the cost down and I'm just using raw foods. So there is all my meals that I'm having at the moment, guys. And this is the amount of food that you can get over 1,700 calories. So that is all I'm trying to stick to at the moment because calories are king. I'm trying to stick with that caloric deficit while well, it's obviously also hitting my protein target. Now you imagine this, like you can get a, a foot long subway which is 1,500 calories. That's going to take up the majority of the day when you can have this. I'm having the same stuff at the moment. It may look boring as shit to a lot of people, but I only need to chop and change stuff. I know how my body responds. I know like what food is going to be sustainable to bloat in. So it's just nice and easy for me to stick to these ones at the moment. The only other things that I'll add in, the meals are obviously some good old salt and pepper and the other thing is i've been using a lot recently are these skinny food co sources i'll leave the link in the description to you because these are absolute game changers so the salt caramel one i'll use on the yogurt and then for everything else i'll just put like a blob or more than a blob on the sides of the chicken meals and stuff and i'll use the garlic mayo on on the meal on the weekends, this is obviously like my Monday to Friday. I won't have this on the weekends. I usually go 3,000 calories on Saturday and higher on Sunday, so my average calories for the week are higher. But this is everything that I will consume in a day at the moment during a cut. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Please leave a massive thumbs up and a like if you enjoyed the video. And if it's your first time on my channel, then please hit that subscribe button, the little red button with the bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Yo, flex. I just wanna win. Yo. LABB who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again.